Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And today's video is kind of an update, which I don't make very often on previous videos because most of my videos don't require an update of some kind. Uh, if they do require an update, I do make these videos once in a while, but thanks to Mr. Uh, Christopher White 8861, I thought about actually making this video. So, a couple days ago, two days ago exactly actually, he commented on my 2002 Volkswagen Jetta What to Do With It YouTube short, which we will watch here in a moment. Uh, do I have it pulled up still? I don't think so. But basically the conversation was, I actually got the title, finally. I'll explain the... Uh, well, we don't have to watch the video. So long story short, I got the car from a corner lot. Um, they are rated 1.8 out of 5 stars on Google reviews with about 30 reviews. Uh, most of the reviews are stating how slow they are at getting you your title or you're lucky to get it at all. I am one such case. Uh, lucky to get it at all. <laughs> I bought the car three years ago, almost to the day. I bought it August, I think, twenty. 7th 2020 yeah so i bought it three years ago almost to the day and got the title today i got the title today so what do i do with the car well i'm glad i didn't sell it for parts like I was going to do in my YouTube short i had an offer of 1500 bucks for it i was going to take it because the dude was doing a Mark II Jetta 1.8T conversion and needed some parts, so I was going to sell it to him for like a thousand bucks or something like that, fifteen hundred I think. But now that I have the title and the Fiat is out of commission completely, um, at least for a short amount of time while I try to figure it out, might as well make a video series modifying the Jetta, the do's and don'ts. Because there's not a lot of videos out there about this platform. Like, there, yeah, there's people showing you how to install parts, but they're really kind of ghettoed up or sloppily recorded videos of people who just don't really know how to record YouTube videos. Um, I, I am no saint. I don't have, like, tripods or cameras or anything. So if I want to do this, I'm going to have to invest in some cameras and stuff. Or just use the spare phones and like jerry rig those up with some uh with some stuff but basically what i had said to christopher and i'm going to paraphrase a little bit of this because voice to text kind of made me sound stupid i might make a video about the car the tuning journey the research on parts and such this video is the research part you would think it would be very easy to look up information for tuning and modifications I discovered quickly that it's not for this platform at all. It's not. Uh, for being a platform that is so popular, there's not much info out there. And that's the case. Like, I sat down when I knew I was potentially getting the title uh, this past Wednesday. Um, even then, look at that. It's Saturday, and I got it now. It took them three or four days. Because <clears throat> um, I was pestering them every single day. Uh, I... There's just not much info out there. There's not many build journeys for these cars. There's, you know, Co Motorsports. They made a really cool video series on uh, that shitty Jetta that they got uh, where they put the biggest turbo they could on it and then they upgraded the fuel system and they pushed like 500 wheel on stock internals. Something utterly ridiculous that you should never do. But, and it was an unopened engine, which was crazy series to watch. There's not many build journeys on, like, how should you properly build, what parts should you buy first before others, when should you get your tune, and what tune should you go with depending on where you live, because that actually plays a huge role. I was very lucky with my Golf R that it was tuned by none other than United Motorsports, because the previous owner of my car was friends with uh, somebody at UM. Uh, or who works for UM in some way, and they ended up actually using my Golf R back in July of 2012 
to make the base profiles for the Mark 6R that United Motorsports always starts with when they do your custom dyno tune. Or at least some of the local ones to me here in Ohio. So, well, I discovered they tune Mark 4s, which has me very excited because every single tuning company I look at for this car deletes all the emission shit. And what's the problem with that? You know, that's not a big deal. Oh, just flash it back to stock once in a while. These cars are not tuned the same way my Fiat is. There is one company that I have found that will do tuning in a similar fashion to my Fiat, where it comes with like a handheld unit. It's, um, and you can choose the profile and swap it, the tunes back and forth and stuff like that. I live in Ohio. I live in one of nine counties where that might be too much information. Someone's going to dox me. Uh, <laughs> I live in one of nine counties. I almost said the name of the county. That would really narrow it down. Um, where they still do emissions checks every two years on cars that are less than 25 years old. It's real bullshit. Honestly, just get rid of it. Like, my Fiat straight piped with no catalytic converter probably puts out less emissions than, like, a Dodge Charger that has four catalytic converters. Seriously, emissions checks in 2023 are kind of stupid. Um... There's also not enough people running around with a straight-piped car that it matters. But anyway, <laughs> I could rant on that all day. If you all want a rant video about how I feel about emissions checks, leave it in the comments down below. Anyway, um, let's get some engagement on this video. <clears throat> let's talk about our tuned vehicles in the comments. Dude, show off in my comments. Maybe I'll even make a section on my Discord for it. Who knows? Let's just let's talk some awesome cars in my comments. Um, but <laughs> sorry, ADHD moment. I just really want to talk cars. So there's not a good build journey to follow with this. And UM on my Golf R with a high flow catalytic converter was able to pass emissions checks here in Ohio. Every other company out there tunes out all the emissions stuff, and you have to do the SAI delete and stuff like that. And do I really feel like doing that? Yeah, like, I can do it, but do I want to? There's a really good shop near me for doing automotive mechanics on these Volkswagens as well. I'll probably end up taking my car to them if I need to do some of these emissions deletes, like the uh, SAI and stuff like that. That thing is freaking useless, by the way. Um, <clears throat> as far as tuning... There's only one company I have found that does handheld tuning. Everybody else will either sell you an ECU that you can swap ECUs in and out, or they will uh, remote tune. And even then, I was hoping like Integrated Engineering did Mark IVs because then their software will let me go to stock, back to my tune, stuff like that. There's just not really anybody out there unless I learn to tune it myself, which would be freaking awesome. Uh... Yeah, everybody deletes the emission stuff. UM, as far as I know, will not do that. So I want to do a build journey on the car. I want to do the research. As you can tell, I'm already doing research. There's the 550cc uh, injectors. There's the KO4 turbos. I'm definitely going eBay turbo on a 150,000 mile engine. I don't care. Especially when it's $260 for a freaking turbo. Like, I'm going all in. I don't care. But that's the only part I'm going to probably cheap out on. Uh, but yeah, there's just not good info out there for these cars. So, research-wise, where would I start as far as modifying this car if I had one that's bone stock? Nobody's ever messed with it. No one's ever tuned it. It's completely stock. Where would I start? Well, I have a spreadsheet. So this is the stuff I need immediately. New coil packs, which I have eight of my old spare coil packs from the Golf R. I could just get the ECS converter tray thing, or even on eBay, or have somebody 3D print me some, or something like that. I can get those things and actually just use those coil packs, uh, my red tops, and just convert to those. Uh, new spark plugs. My spark plugs are already done. I already bought them. Uh, give me one sec. They are racing on the highway by my house again, and I like to pause it when they fly by because my mic will pick it up. Uh, power steering pump is definitely a need. Mine leaks. 
I need the valve cover gasket and spark plug tube seals. My spark plugs are getting wet with oil. I know that's the problem. Um, I need new coil pack connectors, which the upgraded ones are cheaper than stock ones. So I'm definitely getting the upgraded ones to make my engine bay look better. I need a new cold air, uh, just the air filter itself. And then I need a new tire on the back of my car. This is all the stuff that's needed kind of immediately, at least within the next month or two. Especially if I want to drive this car through the winter, which is kind of the plan. Well, stage one build, very simple. But it seems like almost everybody, as far as a stage two build, everybody advertises, I was looking for a downpipe because I need to keep the high flow cat so I can uh, pass emissions tests. And a lot of people are saying that you need some form of a stage two tune to pass emissions uh, or for a high flow cat or else you will get a check engine light. So... I wasn't sure exactly what to do in that sense, and I'm going to have to get in contact with some people, and maybe this will be where I do a follow-up video on the research of building this car, because I want to buy everything first and then do the installation kind of all at once. Maybe not so much the required stuff like the tire, the valve cover gasket, stuff like that, but anything like the upgraded coil packs, anything that's an upgrade I kind of want to just do and get over with all at once in maybe one big video. Uh... But yeah, if I want to do anything like a high flow cat, it seems like you have to have a tune for it or you're going to get a check engine light on these cars. So what tune do I want to go with? Well, at first, I was going to go with these guys because I really like the sound of their products. There is a uh, function of their tune that I'm really interested in that I don't see anybody else offer, at least visually on their web pages. Uh, these guys offer two-step launch control and rolling anti-lag. I never have seen that offered by anybody else. Uh, crackle and burble, a pop tune. You know me with the Fiat. And plus, that's part of why I got a Mark IV is because my old man neighbor bitches about my Fiat when I started up in the morning. Meanwhile, in the summer, he comes outside with his Harleys and starts them up at 6.30 in the morning. I don't start my car until at least 8.15. So, it's time to get something loud in my collection to kind of fight back. Uh, two can play at that game. <laughs> uh, 10 to 25 PSI, depending on what stage tune you're going with. Brake boosting and left foot braking. I've never learned this. I've never learned heel toe either. Speed limiter removal, obviously. All torque timing and fuel maps and parameters are fully adjusted for performance. So, what tune type do I want? Well... <laughs> I guess I'll have to ask them if this means I keep software and I can go back to stock. Uh, but I can also do ECU sent to customer and they send me an ECU, which isn't a big deal. Car year, mine is obviously a 2002. Mine's a VW. Mine's the 1.8 AWP 5 speed, I think. I don't know. 1.8. I'm a manual. Uh, you know, my information about parts and stuff like that. Um, yes, I want more power. Yes, I want two-step and launch control. Yes, I want rolling anti-lag. Never had a car with that, and I am going to have way too much fun with it and probably blow it up. Yes, I want pops and bangs. I saw a website the other day. Uh, one of my friends was shopping for a Subaru tune, and there was nuclear warfare for pops and bangs option. <laughs> It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, and then you just put your other info. And obviously I'm going to rep you with a sticker on the car somewhere. So, not a very expensive tune. I think it's like 555 or something like that after tax. Or Actually, I don't remember. It might be like 600 bucks for a tune through them. Or I go through UM. I wait until I'm fully stage 2. Which could probably take about a year go stage two or stage three stage three they don't really say anything about it down here so i don't really know what's a part of stage three but how would i approach this well if i'm willing to wait and again this is where the research comes in um what parts do i need and 
when do I want to install everything? Well, I need, if I want to go for a KO Fortune and I want to have maybe like 300 wheel, 250 wheel, let's shoot for like 250 wheel. I want it to be faster than the Fiat, but not by much. Just make them equal out. It'll be really fun to race them together. Um, I need a KO4, a GT28. I need the 550cc injectors because I want E85, which is probably what the stage 3 is. Uh, the typical boost is 18 to 21 PSI. I know UM generally lets you customize the boost with uh, VCDS. Um, but for all of this, I'm going to need that VR6 math housing. I'm going to need the 550 CC injectors, I'm going to need the turbo upgrade, I'm going to need um, all the stuff that's a necessity, and I'm going to need the exhaust, probably a full 3 inch exhaust, uh, front mount intercooler, cold air intake, which I already got, and probably some other little simple things like a better uh, blow off valve and things like that. So there's a lot that I need, but realistically it's not expensive. So I might make a second video to this of actually setting out the part list and getting the prices for the parts because I kind of want to do it all at once. Yes, the front mount can kind of wait. Yes, the exhaust can kind of wait. Turbo needs to go on as soon as I'm tuning it. Um, and that's where it comes into play of me having to talk to them first because I live so far away, I'm not going to be able to drive it to one of their locations, for example. Um, and that might also be where I go in and switch to like these guys, if they can make it work and I keep, uh, the ability to pass emissions, that's where you just have to talk to the tuner and let them know what your needs are. Uh, you know, ask the tuner, Hey, what are your, uh, recommendations as far as a part list for like this power figure? It seems like there's two tuners that are very easy to talk to three. Uh, tuners that are very easy to talk to that's um um uh, apr i guess so maybe four but for sure um east coast auto concepts and uh vw wrencher uh that vw wrencher has a full facebook group they will apparently very easy to talk to i think i'm going to talk to vw wrencher first let them know exactly what I need and what I'm looking for. Maybe I can get a stage one first and then stage two later, or even just go straight to stage three with the KO4. Uh, because I think KO4, so the popular KO4 upgrade for the 1.8 is the KO4-001, which is a very cheap turbo. It's a very cheap turbo. Um, like, look at that. I can get one for 150 Like, that's ridiculous. But the turbo from my Golf R is the KO464. So there is a bit of a difference. Should I go with an eBay turbo? Probably not. Do I want to go with an eBay turbo, though? Kind of. Hey, I have one of these in my garage. I didn't know it was worth, like, 50 bucks. Anyway. But, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's going to be more research and parts. Uh, maybe I'll do a live stream instead when it comes time to actually fill the stage one and stage two, because then I'll know what tune I'm going with. I'll know what part list I need and I'll be able to fill you guys in along the way. So let me know if you guys are excited for more videos about the Jetta. Uh, we're going to start this build series from zero of stock and go all the way until I'm at least 300 wheel horsepower. That's the goal I'm setting. Also, let's talk about some badass cars in those comments down below. Uh, let's also all hope you guys are excited for Auto Legends. Go play 1320 Challenge. I, I am eventually going to reset up my Etsy shop. I have a Mercari web store you can get to through my website. How many things can I plug here? Um, check out my boy Keith on YouTube. He's Dr. Robotnik. I don't remember what his YouTube channel is, but he was really famous on TikTok, and now he's moving to YouTube. I don't... Uh, uh, who's in my YouTube comments? Um, I don't know. Subscribe to this guy. <laughs> I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.